And welcome back. I uh, kind of got off track in terms of schedule there, and it's been a while since I've uh, played this, and I've been meaning to come back. Walk and... by a kid with a machete and a mortar. You just keep on walking. Oh, I never saw this feature before. Um, so I figured I'd come back and finish this. Uh, or at least try to. Let's see. Is there anything I can... To fix a brusher's pike, you just need a good length of knife bark. That's the way to make every shot count. Okay, well... You want to tune a scrap musket, you start with the barrel. Kid packs a special surprise in every one of those arrows. I don't know how many of those I'll get any use out of right now, but okay. What were we to think? They must have got her. Taken her back to her rightful home. So, presumably, I can get up to the thing and go where... Oh. Okay, seriously, though? Okay, so I can't attack. Oh, jeez. It's always something, isn't it? Shards can put this disease in remission, but there's only one cure. We need to finish what we started. Okay, well. So I did see a. Yeah, and that's. I know that'll be some arbitrary currency. The Mercy. The windbags ain't the only beast that drew a bad lot. I'm half tempted to turn my idol off. High just... time we built something new. Wait, what? Build something where? Sanctuary. If we can build, we can rebuild. So I don't know if I have an, if I should go and do the uh, proving grounds. But the Ura swooped down from the east. At least now we know the way. Okay. Check it out. I mean, I'm assuming that this is the end. I honestly don't know. Um, but, I mean, it's been a short little game. I kind of... I didn't really expect it to be terribly long. Um, One last shard. It's all we need to put this mess behind us. And mother, what a mess it is. I gotta say, I'm wondering why not live on the ground. But, uh, a mess like that could have only been made by hand. Zolf said the calamity failed, and he's right. The Ura stand as living proof of that.
Ooh. At the heart of the calamity was a simple idea. We never wanted to go to war again. Wanted to rule it out. Solutions oh, far beyond okay. the city. We travel near as far as the kids go right now. Yeah, I was wondering if it was just selected when the level was made, or if they, uh, they said, hey, these have been a real pain for the, the player. Let's, uh, let's use those. You know, I think there'd be a problem mechanic. See how much damage the uh, player has taken to... Most of our efforts didn't bear fruit. Oh, I got a level. Anyway, then there was a breakthrough, but it didn't come from one of our people. You can't turn back now. Okay, well, I guess I'm not charging this one. I was gonna say, like, see what what enemies did the most damage to, to a player, and uh, change the last level based on that. It'd be kind of a neat mechanic. Oh, it's another boat ride. It came from an era, a brilliant young scientist named Ven. Ven worked for the Mansers, the sharpest knives in the city's drawer. With his help, the Mansers devised a way to seal the Ura Tunnel shut in a flash. Just like that, every last Ura living in the Tassel Terminals will be gone. Discovery was never to be used, they said, except as a last resort. I think the real enemy here is those little birds. Just throwing that out there. But Van didn't like being manipulated. 
He had plans of his own. He sabotaged the Mancer's little science project, set it to blow up in their faces. Imagine how Van must have felt when they finally made him pull that trigger. Just some terrible. It's, I suppose it's been at least a week since I've recorded, too, so that's probably a factor. But remember, the Bastion can fix everything. We just need that shard. Too bad the Ura ain't exactly been willing to collaborate on that front. First things first, though. There's someone we figure needed rescuing. See ya. The Ura fell back. No doubt planning the next move. But we knew ours already. Oh, that's right, I gained a level. Um... Squirt cider will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. There's okay, something we had to good. do before going after that last shard. Well, now it's personal, ain't it? It's personal for him, and it's personal for me. They never saw him coming. He gets his hands on the care package I sent him. It's a little something I've been fixing up in my spare time. The Ura found a way to keep the calamity from spreading through Sultan's Hollow.
still, they ain't used to have visitors around. They've got these conductors that are all what's keeping the place together. Oops. Those rocks are like tumors, the same kind the Ura planted in the bastion. Oh, I suppose that's another option. And these don't work, no? It's Oops. not the time to get reckless. Hey, I thought that was a pretty measured response. Enough of those things and the calamity rocks slip back into the ground. Oh, oh, I see. Well, the Ura must be in a panic right about now. Those rodents are just a bump in the road. Go. By now, every Ura from here to the terminals must know it's in town. Turns their greed tenfold. Most of the Earth's conductors are squared away in the middle of the hollow.
Those calamity rocks must be eating that place apart from the inside. Yes, our people caused the calamity, but here we are trying to fix it. Shame the opportunity for civilized discourse is over. Okay, is there or is there not a way across? Suppose old Zolf should have got to know us better. Terminals loom large on the horizon. sing about now. Oh, I see. Zia, you weren't kidnapped. No, ma'am. You just had to see what happened to the Ura. To your own people. You had to see if everything Zolf wrote to you was true. There, there she is. Sure you didn't drop that twangy thing on purpose? Just to see if he go after you. Uh -huh. They lost everything, didn't they? 
But they just keep on fighting like that's gonna bring it all back. Nope. All right, what's he got to say? I don't need to see what happened to the Ura. I'm trying to undo it, remember? Hmm. Well, well, I suppose. If there's anything that blade can't split open, a cannon ought to do it. Hmm. I'm not gonna worry about the turbine right now. Okay. Once the kid gets that it? last shard from Zolf, it'll all be over. The Tazel Terminals, all that's left of the Earth's civilization, and the last stop on his little journey. Okay. Ooh. Let's do it. Okay, so it looks like this is officially the end. And uh, let's hope I can beat it before I run out of recording time. <laughs> so. I can't hear him at all anymore. He's too far away. But he'll be all right. The calamity hit the Tazel terminals hardest of all. Zolfin back there. The place was his home. All his old friends and family were there. Zolf must be there all alone. Just waiting. There's another reason I've been telling you all this. There's something I want you to understand. When the kid brings back that shard, the bastion will be complete. Zelandia will be whole again. Everything will be back to normal. I, I sense a big fight coming. Everyone will be alright. Problem 
problem is, we'll all be gone. Oh, we're not gonna die. It's more like... All of this will just stop. Than you've ever done, you could do it over, and wouldn't that be grand? Aren't you setting up a new game? Well, plus? is that it? I guess there's nothing more to say. Oh, you have me gone. Something else. A confession. Let me spit it out. How come I know so much about the Bastion? Done this before, haven't you? Well, I designed the place, but that's beside the point. <laughs> There's one problem with a place that sets things back to a bygone time. You can't test it. Probably wondering 
If the calamity happened already, what's to stop it from happening again after the Bastion does its thing? The answer is... I don't know. some other way out of this mess. It's all right. I can tell. But why would you even want another way? Unless... Unless you wanted to stay here... with us. Sweet and all, but I don't know if I can stick around. I'll pick that up, I guess. I mean, I'm at my camp. The weight of the calamity. It's on our shoulders. We can't just let it go. Oh, so now I can't jump anymore. Bastion does have another function, strictly speaking. Whoa. If ever the monument blew out, and we couldn't repair it, we could still... evacuate. First, we'd round up as many folks as we could carry. Next, we'd detonate the cores, and we'd take off... away from here. Okay, I'm a little lost. There, there we go. Of course, that would mean no going back. Ever. But then again, that way all of us could leave the city. Together. Zolf and his countrymen won't be giving up that shard without a fight, don't you? Zolf 
in the era. All they want now is to see the bastion fall. You know, the, um, the damage this thing does versus the uh, time it takes to make an attack really makes my DPS kind of a losing proposition. He can't have imagined the city would try to wipe the era out. Zolfain lost every shred of decency, though, has he? There's the shard. For Zolf, this ain't a personal matter. This is really a drag. It ain't a simple matter of pride either. Things for sure. The era can't be happy that the kid followed Zolf all the way home. Despite my better judgment, I can see it now. The kid in one corner, and Zolf in the other. Ain't much of a fight. Don't you worry, though. Once the Bastion's restored, it'll all be all right. You ain't still thinking about that whole leaving the city thing, are you? Here. 
so am I going to be all, he died doing the right thing? Is that, will that be my epitaph? She has probably dealt with us off by now. It reminds me of myself when I was his age. Hmm. I ever tell you about those days? For some reason, I thought it was ruckus, not rucks. Hmm. Anyway. Hey, kid. Get up, kid. Well, I'm trying, but the controls aren't responding. Come on, that ain't funny. I say get up. That's more like it. Now, set that shard into the monument there. Then we'll talk. The Bastion. It's finally finished. Now, there's something I want you to see. Welcome to the heart of the Bastion. I ain't one for long goodbyes, so here's the deal. Zia and I figure you've done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. All right. Hey, kid. Zolf only brought more ruin to the Ura. No wonder they didn't take kindly to him. Oh, well, okay. All right. For safety's sake, I'm going to break now, and then I'll come back with the second part in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um... To explain that just now and hopefully I can merge and get around it but I'm set up to record about an hour of footage at a time and I was shooting for half hour episodes of this and I didn't realize how long the finale was gonna be so all right let's let's start with these guys see what's left you can undo the calamity here and now go on kid and before I forget thank you okay I always wondered what the motherland was like not that it matters anymore. You've got one thing left to do, so you hang on to that badge. Hmm. Besides, you earned it. Don't let anything you've done get to you. You can save all those creatures here and now. You made it. Oh, hello. So, let's see. You can either prevent the calamity, or stick around with me and Rex. I'd hate to be in your shoes. Mm. If I could be any place I wanted, I'd stay right here. We could go anywhere in the world. Zolf tried to talk me into joining him. I tried to talk him out of it. I guess we both failed. When I finally found my people, I told them we could help. They just took me for a traitor. Glad you showed up. Any moment I'd want to live again happened after the calamity, not before. Hmm. All right, well. Oh wow, these are both bad. Uh... Here goes. Let's try and restore the world. Or whatever. It's finished. Now nah, sit tight. It'll be over soon. You've been saying that for a while. No matter what happens next, you're done good. 
I suppose all that's left is to try and remember this moment. The Bastion's gonna take us back to a better time before any of this. My people will forget everything you've done and each other. Though after all we've been through, I find that hard to believe. So long, kid. Maybe I'll see it in the next one. Ceylandia, we're coming home. That's it. And, uh, hopefully, I can merge the uh, merge the video files so this isn't two separate uploads. Um, you know, not bad. It, it, you know, its strong points are you know the art and the music are really good. The plot is, I mean, the uh, sudden but inevitable betrayal is uh, not at all a surprise at any point. Um, but, uh, the gameplay, okay, kind of an action RPG, you know, I don't want to say it reminds me of something like Legend of Zelda, um, except it doesn't, because it's, you know, you're running through some pretty linear courses, um, and there's no, there's no real exploration involved, and it is very, very short, which is fine games are good. And I guess it could be longer if I went and did a bunch of proving grounds, but uh, I don't know that those are needed. The uh, the idle mechanic seems kind of cool. You can just keep making the game hard to get more XP out of it. Um, which is certainly a good idea. <laughs> but I, I was just running with that one. It was enough pain that, you know, I don't know if I'd do it. Well, I certainly wouldn't do it in Let's play type video, but I might try it on my own. Um, and I guess we're going to see what it does to my save file in the course of events here. But, uh, you know, overall, I'd say let's give it an arbitrary number. Maybe three or four out of five stars. Um, good, but not quite there. I, I guess it just doesn't, doesn't hit me all that well. Um, you know, story-wise, you know, the story is serviceable. Um, usually, though, I don't really care about story. I mean, it's got to be something really special um, to uh, to really draw me in. Like, Nero Tamata got me in uh, just because it went, it went so many crazy places, I had to know what happened next. Um, but, uh... I don't know, not a bad game, and I'm, I'm certainly going to play uh, Transistor. That's going to be on the list. You know, if I focus long enough to sit down and do proper recording sessions, that is. So, I'm hoping I can get FFmpeg to slap these two video files together, and it doesn't go straight to hell. <laughs> We shall see. Um, that quick break in the footage was essentially because I didn't know if I was going to run over. Um, you know, one of the reasons I didn't do any of the, the live type stuff is because my PS4 would only record about 15 minutes at a time. I didn't know that there was a setting for that. And one of the videos I wanted to upload early on was me playing Tetris. And I, I got my best ever score there, but it ran uh, 17 minutes, so I couldn't couldn't do anything with it. It was uh, a little frustrating. I guess I could have streamed it, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn myself down here, and uh, we'll see. We'll let the credits run.
2015, you know? As usual, I'm years behind when it comes to, uh, to gaming. So, yeah, New Game Plus, kind of saw that coming. Yeah, I, I am not going to be doing New Game Plus on the channel, but, uh, I'm probably gonna do it. We'll see, though. And that looks like that's that. Well, if you watched all the way through this, you know, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. And if you have anything to say, there's a comment field for exactly that. Uh, goodbye.